Alright, so I made this video to demonstrate how this cobblestone generator works because I keep freaking forgetting how it works. <clears throat> so I figured I might as well upload a video of it. This is all it takes to make the world's fastest and best cobblestone generator. One sticky piston, one normal piston, redstone torch, a single dot of redstone dust, a redstone repeater, and then some power source. And I'm actually going to look at this first in Bedrock Edition, and we will show you why later. So here in the Bedrock Edition, exact same setup, sticky piston, normal piston, repeater, redstone, etc. Super simple. Now all we need to do to make this work is apply power to this repeater. When you apply power to that repeater, then the moment a cobblestone block appears here, it triggers the sticky piston, which connects the repeater there, which powers that, which pushes this out. Hi. You want to be in the video? Okay. Now once you hit 12 blocks long, it stops working, but if you break a block, it pushes out. This is where the difference is between Bedrock Edition and Normal or Java Edition. In Java Edition, if I break this block, even though the piston is powered, it doesn't push. The fix to this is instead of just hooking up directly to power, we need power to toggle on and off to keep re-attempting the piston, which we can do with a redstone clock. So something like this. Power feeds into itself like that, <clears throat> and then this clock gets connected up there. Now, when there's a piece of cobble here, I break it, and eventually the clock will tick, and it'll try again. So back to Bedrock Edition. <clears throat> this is the basic build. Of course, if you don't want it to extend out 12 blocks, you can put a piece of obsidian here. And then when the cobblestone generates, it'll only push out as far as the obsidian and then stop. Because this device does fit in a one by one space, then after we provide it with water and lava, which I will box in so I don't break anything. It gets to work. And because it fits in a one by one space, it is tileable. So we can alternate water, lava, water, lava, with the cobblestone forming in between, and put multiple of these side by side, as many as we want, as far out as we want, and then all you need to do is provide power to all of them. And once you've provided power to all of them, they all start producing cobble. This is a smart cobblestone generator because it pushes out the moment the cobble forms. So if I were to break these, the moment there's cobble to move, it pushes it. And this is the fastest smart cobblestone generator that I am aware of. To demonstrate how fast it is, I have an Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 5 pick. I'll set the game mode to survival. And let's see if I can go to town on this thing. And there's no way that I can keep up with this. I'm barely able to break four of these before they respawn. But, there is of course some danger to this device because if I'm moving forward I can get kind of trapped in here with the lava and that's no fun. So I created this safer version. The basic idea with the safe version, we put a wall on top here so that any cobble that bounces up doesn't go onto the obsidian blocks. Then we have a stream pushing all the cobble to us. And we have a trap door here 
That way I can stand here and safely gather cobble, but as I walk forward, I don't accidentally walk into the path of the pistons. Now, I did leave this partially unfinished so that I could demonstrate some uh, simple gotcha when you're constructing this. When placing the water in the lava, you need to make sure you place the water first before the lava. If you place the lava first, then the lava destroys your redstone torch. But if you place the water first, you know, let me actually go back into creative mode, game mode, creative. There we go. Get those two redstone torches back down. Then, when the lava flows out, it instantly turns into cobble. Your torch is safe. Game mode survival. And finally, I'll just show off the safer version. So I'll go and apply power to all of these. And if I stand right here, in front of this trap door and start mining. And all the cobblestone falls into the water, it all washes to the trap door, and it all gets collected. And I made this four long, one, two, three, four, and apparently that was not quite long enough with an efficiency three pick, because I was able to hit the back wall, but five or six should be plenty. And then really quickly back to Java Edition, I showed that you can use a clock in order to fix the bug. This clock solution can also be tiled by using the same clock to power multiple of the modules. There's no reason that you need to have one clock per block. And if you want to be able to turn this clock on or off, or let's say you walk a thousand blocks away, come back and it's not working anymore, you can just hook up a little switch, stop the clock, turn the clock back on. And that is how you make the world's most efficient cobblestone generator.